Alrighty, so what is up everyone? Welcome back to another one of my videos. I haven't recorded gameplay in a long time, but I do intend to go back to doing that very thing. I, of course, took like a long time making more edited content, but I also thought of like making gameplay as well. I just didn't know how to go about it. There are even times where like I tried to record it and I, it just didn't work. But hey, here I am trying it on a, a new game, basically. Wild Terror 2, it released in early access today, I think, but I was at work, so, you know, I wasn't there for it, but here we are. Or was it yesterday? I think it may have been yesterday. But anyway, I already put in the key, and I, before, before we start, I just want to go ahead and say that, like, looking at everything from this screen alone is already a step up from the previous Wild Terror game. Like, I cannot tell you how interesting this already looks. Like, it's, it's amazing. It, it amazes me. I wasn't even expecting that much when I, when I downloaded the game, or when I, when I clicked play. And like, um, a note that I have not touched the game until now. Select a character or create a new one. See, I don't even, I don't even know how to do that. Okay, create. Okay, lineage, Hooter Lord, or Peon. Hooter Lord can King land to, to build buildings on it. Starts on the starting island after completing the initial quest. Goes to the continent with starting set of resources, building, and money. You can create only one feudal lord. So I guess having a feudal lord is probably a good idea since they're limiting it. And then you have peon. Cannot claim land. Starts on the continent without money and resources. You will need to become a dweller of the feudal lord. You can settle with your own. Yeah, I think I think what it's basically saying is that being a feudal lord. You can play the game as normal, but if you're a peon, then you're... I, I guess I guess you just live for someone else, to put it that way. Of course, I gotta be jacked as... Jacked AF. Man, you already know how it is. Um, I don't know how to move the slider. Oh, oh, just click it. Alright. He looks like progressively more red as I go down. Kinda doesn't make sense. It looks really weird too. Here, I'm just gonna keep it at that. Back shaved. <laughs> His back. <laughs> His back, dude. Oh my god. Clean shaven? Oh, 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 his head. His head. Okay. I got you. I can't rotate the guy, so. There's that. I like short haircut. It's very simple, very plain, almost bald. Maybe I'll go with that. It's it's kind of sticking out to me a little bit. Easy shaved. Yeah, I'm just gonna go almost bald. Make his little story out of it. So these are all the haircuts. There's not that many. Of course, this is still a very new game. They're probably gonna add more deadlocks. I didn't even see that one. That looks hella weird. But I, you know, I kind of, I kind of like it though. It, like, this game has like a vibe where like you're automatically a caveman. So having dreads is like, it's not that weird. But I'm gonna go on most bald because it looks better. Hair color doesn't matter, obviously. And then uh, to create our name, I like to name myself Venus Jin. I think it's very wholesome. For anyone who doesn't know, that name is from Golden Sun. I'm not gonna explain anything more about it, but for those of you who know. Thank you for playing the game. Anywho, so the character select screen. Nice. What did that mean? Alright, so in the previous Wild Terror game, it also had this kind of uh, third person helicopter view, I want to say. You are a griefer. It's the first thing I see. Left click to walk. There seems to be like motion blur as well, which I, I'm definitely not gonna get used to. I think I'm, I'm gonna see if I can change that real quick. All right, so there is no option for mo motion blur. So this is this is now part of the game. So may maybe it's me lagging, maybe not. But I don't know. Oh, whoa, I just teleported. All right. So, um, having played 
the first wall of terror i know that when you attack random stuff you usually pay for it in the end i know that if i fight that boar i'm probably gonna die or anything really i'm, I'm most likely just gonna die so i guess i can gather by pressing e and stuff that's cool why is everything's like teleporting all of a sudden it's very weird I need a small raw hide. He's level seven. What level am I? How do I, how do I tell? Yeah, I I don't know what level I am. It's gonna be a well. while. Oh. Okay, five stones makes a boulder. Roger that. I don't, I don't think I have five stones too. No, I just need to find five stones. Abandoned village. Alright, so I want to check this out. I did hear that there are dungeons. What is that in the top left? Deadly area. You will die instead of fainting in this zone. All equipment will be damaged by death or suicide. Inventory loss. The content of your inventory drops out upon death zombie boar you're telling me that i nearly walked into that without even knowing that's not fair <laughs> dude i'm lucky i caught that in the top left i was like what what is that wait 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 wait, wait. what is that you know like imagine i i was gonna walk into the middle of the village i was like mm, i'm gonna loot this real quick no nah, dude i <laughs> guess not Oh man, I'm just looking for stones. I'm not even trying to pick a fight. That's that. South Forest, where's the beach? Maybe I'll go live on the beach. Who knows? Cape of a Good Way. I'm gonna go back to that. What, what did it actually say? Cape of a Good Way. Why? Oh, I can sail! Sail away. Sail away from the island? Great, the ship is ready. I do not know how much about ship shipbuilding, but it looks reliable. Now I can collect all my belongings to sail away. Attention, you can no longer return to the island, and all current tasks will disappear. Hey, whatever, man. I was not... Oh, it's locked. Dog. I, I wasn't... Ugh, oh, I gotta do the quests. Anyway, so I'm going to end it here for today. I will continue playing the game. Of course, on my own time, I'm hoping that tonight I'll finish this quest. If not, I'll finish it tomorrow. And um, with that, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. With that for now, and that's gone.